वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टू द ऑनलाइन क्लास स्टैंडर्ड सिक्स सब्जेक्ट मैथमेटिक्स चैप्टर नंबर फाइव डेसिमल फ्रैक्शन तो स्टूडेंट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट डेसिमल फ्रैक्शन तो स्टूडेंट डेसिमल फ्रैक्शन इज द प्लेस वेर द डिनोमिनेटर दैट इज द बॉटम नंबर एज यू कैन सी इन द पिक्चर ओके I have given one upon ten. That is bottom number denominator. Okay, is power ten such as ten, hundred, thousand. Okay, as you can see in the picture, etc. is called your decimal fraction. Okay, you can write the decimal fraction with decimal point and no denominator. As you can see in the picture, I have written one upon ten as zero point one. So why I have written zero point one? Because in the denominator there is single zero. So after the digit, I have placed decimal point and zero. Okay, seven upon ten, here also single digit. In eighteen upon ten hundred, so here after two digit I have to place the decimal point. Why? Because here in the denominator. Here there is two zeros. That is why we are going to put the decimal point after two digits. Similarly, in the third sum, that is fifty-seven upon thousand, in the denominator there are three zeros. So after three digit, we are going to place the decimal point. So let's solve the assignment question from your workbook. So it will be more clear for you all. So student, today we are going to solve the sum of lesson number five. That is decimal fraction. Okay, so let's see the assignment number one. What they have given in question number one. In the table below, write the place value of each of the digits in number two sixty nine point four two seven. Okay, it means they have given your three digit that is two hundred and sixty nine point four two seven. After two hundred and sixty nine, they have added for a decimal point and they have given the number four two. Seven. Okay. So let's see the table. Here they have given the table in the first row place. Okay. So they have given place unit tens and hundred. Okay. They have given digit according to that two six nine. So nine is at unit place. Okay. So they are asking us to find out the place value. So always, student, keep it in your mind. When finding the place value, you have to multiply the digit with the place. Here, the place is at unit, means one. So you are going to multiply nine by one, and you'll get answer as nine. Here, the digit is six. So you are going to multiply six with the place. Place is at tens. So you are going to multiply six by ten. You're going to get answer as sixty. Similarly, here the digit is at hundred. So you're going to multiply two by hundred. You're going to get answer as two hundred. Okay, student. So always to find out the place value of a given digit, you have to multiply it with the place. Okay, at which place the digit stand. Okay, and when you're going to multiply it with that place, you're going to get the answers. Okay. Now here they have shown us the fraction part of the place. Okay, one upon ten, which is known as tenths. One upon hundred, which is known as hundreds. One upon thousand, which is known as thousands. Okay, so these are the place. Okay, like we were having in single digit. Here the place is a fraction. Okay, now they have given the digit four. Okay, so first, what you have to find, you have to find the place value. So you just have to do, you have to multiply this four in the numerator. Okay, nowhere else, just you have to multiply the four in the numerator, and you'll get the answer this way: four upon ten. Okay, now convert it in decimal form. Write four zero because okay, so four. Now up. In the denominator, how many zero? Single zero. So you have to put decimal in the single place. Okay. So four point zero. Okay. You have to write it in this way. Similarly, one upon hundred. So you will multiply this digit in the numerator of this fraction. So 
you will get answer as 2 upon 100 so at what place you are going to put the decimal point here you are having two zeros okay we will write two and you will write two more zero you will write the digit two and you are going to write two more zero and after how many digit you are going to put decimal point one two so counting from unit one two and you are going to put the decimal point okay same way you are going to write with the digit seven also so 7 you are going to multiply in the numerator you will get answer as 7 upon 1000 and after how many digits you are going to put the decimal point 1, 2, 3. So you are going to write first 7 then write 3 zeros and after counting from unit place 1, 2, 3 you are going to put the decimal point. Is it clear students? So student let us solve the addition which is question number 2 of the of this lesson okay so here they have given the numbers to add okay two numbers they had already given and we have to add okay and at last we have to put the decimal points to the given number okay so as you can see here after decimal point it is three digit means here the number is given in thousands and here after decimal point two digit means here the number is given in hundred so we have to write the number properly so first let us write they have given us 905.5 okay so as you can see here in the second digit already three digit number is there so simply you can put zeros and zeros okay so we will make it in three digit form now here it is two digit so starting from unit 7 2 okay 27.197 going to put addition sign so 0 7 0 plus 7 is 7 0 plus 9 is 9 5 plus 1 is 6 put decimal as it is here and 5 plus 7 is how much student it's 12 to your 1 carry 0 plus 1 1 1 plus 2 3 and as here is no digit so 9 will come as it is okay so this is your answer student for this sum okay now similarly we are going to solve the second sum also so student as you can see we are there they given two numbers 39 which is after that no decimal point and your 700.65 okay so you can write first the bigger digit okay so 700.65 so after 39 there is no digit so first you write 39 over here because it is two digits so exactly after two digits starting from unit unit place you'll write nine tens place you're going to write three okay you don't have to start from here you have to always start writing the numbers from unit place and as you can see there is no decimal point so similarly you're going to put decimal point here and two zeros okay it will not change the value of this number it will remain 39 only after putting zeros also okay so 5 plus 0 5 6 plus 0 6 point 0 plus 9 9 0 plus 3 3 and 7 okay so 739.65 is the answer for this question okay now as you can see here they have given three numbers we have to add three numbers accordingly so start writing okay 40.00 i am writing because already the number is in decimal form and that two three digits so i am going to write three okay so put decimal point second number is 27 so 27 plus sign and how many digit one digit okay so you're going to write 
सेवन जीरो जीरो ओके नाउ द थर्ड इट्स जस्ट सिंग इट्स गिवन टू पॉइंट फोर फाइव वन सिंगल डिजिट ओके सो स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम यूनिट प्लेस टू पॉइंट फोर फाइव वन ओके एडिशन साइन गॉट इड हाउ आई हैव रिटर्न इफ सिंगल डिजिट ऑलवेज टू राइट फ्रॉम यूनिट ओके डोंट राइट फ्रॉम दिस पार्ट ऑलवेज टू स्टार्ट राइटिंग फ्रॉम यूनिट देन एड जीरो प्लस जीरो 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 प्लस वन वन जीरो प्लस जीरो 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 प्लस फाइव फाइव जीरो प्लस सेवन 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 प्लस फोर इलेवन वन योर वन विल कैरी योर ओके डेसिमल पॉइंट एज इट इज वन प्लस जीरो वन वन प्लस सेवन एट एट प्लस टू टेन जीरो योर वन कैरी फोर प्लस वन फाइव फाइव प्लस टू सेवन and here is no digit that is why 7 will come as it is so student your answer is 70.151 for this sum thank you